Switchblades.tv presents Available at AssistedKnife.com RoadsideImports.com presents Spring Assist Knives 100% legal in the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia Spring Assisted Knives are great legal alternatives to automatic switchblade knives Spring Assist Knives are also referred to as Spring Assisted Knives, Assisted Knives, Assisted Opening Knives, A Slash O Knives, and Torsion Assist Knives. So what's the secret behind it? It's incredible, easy to use blade deployment mechanism. Some have questioned the legality of carrying something that opens so readily, yet the law is quite clear. An automatic knife is defined as an auto of any knife powered by a spring or operated by a button or any other device attached to the handle. Spring assisted knives use varying configurations. Spring assist knives do not have any device attached to the handle. Spring assist knives use utilize thumb studs that are located on the blade itself. Some models have a tang, which is also located on the blade itself, but protrudes the body of the knife past the spine. Another idea developed from Kit Carson's flipper system found on the Columbia River M16 model. Most spring-assisted knives use pretension crescent-shaped torsion bars to provide the power. An invention pioneered by Blackie Collins on the Myerco Power Assisted range. The upward and outward pressure applied to the thumb stud or flipper simply deploys the knife blade. And wow, it's fast, alright, but it's still within the limits of acceptability. Some argue that this just exploits the loophole within the law. I would like to point out that this is just an extremely clever conceptual design and it should be appreciated as such. RoadsideImports.com promote the safety aspect of the design and irrespective of whether it's fast or not, you can't escape the fact that the whole idea is to provide a tool which is easily and readily available for use with maximum safety in mind. Remember that the ease of speed of accessibility to a knife blade makes it more simplistic. The faster access merely makes the blade easier and safer and quicker to deploy. This does not make it more offensive as a weapon. It's still just a knife, just more useful to legitimate users. Those who perpetrate crimes abusing knives have their blades drawn long before they intended to use them, as offensive crimes involving knives almost are entirely premeditated. The ease with which the tool is usable in no way makes it more or less offensive than any other knife, just safer for the user and others in close proximity to its use. Roadside Imports is a registered business in the United States. Roadside Imports proudly supports its customers serving in the United States Armed Forces, platoon stationed in Iraq and Afghanistan, the Royal Armed Forces, the Royal Scotch Dragoon, the Royal Air Force, the Canadian Armed Forces, and the Australian Special Forces. I want to thank you all personally for serving our countries and keeping our freedom and protecting all of us. I wish all of your safe returns home. All Western culture should support you regardless of political differences because if it were not for you and your devotion to our countries, we would live in a much more dangerous world. I also want to thank my customers at the FBI head training quarters in Atlanta, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, the Scottish Bomb Squad, the Scarsdale Police Department, the NYPD, the Ontario Fire Department, the New York Fire Department, Graybar Electrical Supply in Canada, Cromwell Tools, and all my friends that are fly fishermen in the United States, Scotland, and Patagonia in Argentina. All my fishermen and hunters, EMT workers, first responders, paramedics, law enforcement, and fire rescue personnel. Spring assist knives are intended to save lives. While an EMT, firefighter, or law enforcement officer is trying to get you out of an automobile accident, or any other viable first response problem. Say you're fatally wounded in an accident and the first responder needs to apply pressure to this fatal wound while yet trying to get you out of the seatbelt. A spring assist knife will allow this rescue worker to apply pressure to this fatal wound while yet opening their knife to 
cut the seatbelt with the other hand. Spring assist knives are made legal by US Law Bill SB 274. This bill clarifies that spring assist knives are not to be confused with switchblade knives. A switchblade knife does not include a knife that is designed to open with one hand utilizing thumb pressure applied solely to the blade of the knife or the thumb stud attached to the blade. California is the basis of all law due to it being typically the hardest and most progressive in the nation. California State Senator Betty Carnett of the 27th District is the author and who is responsible for Bill SB 274 and the legislation of spring assisted knives. Senator Carnett realized that spring assist knives are extremely functional tools by law abiding citizens and that these knives serve an important utility to many knife users, as well as firemen, EMT personnel, hunters, fishermen, and others who utilize one-handed opening knives. Senator Carnett realized that spring assist knives were a viable tool, that they could be used in an automobile accident to cut a seatbelt to save someone's life. They've also saved skydivers' lives when they've had to cut the parachute and then pull their reserve. They've also saved countless fishing poles. They also are essential to handicapped individuals who only have one arm. A special thanks to Senator Betty is in order because if it were not for her, we would lose more of our rights in the US and then we wouldn't have tools as life-saving instruments. Let's read Senator Betty Carnett's exact words in a letter published to the Secretary of Senate. This was published July 18, 2001 in the edition of the Senate Daily Journal on page 2070, July 5, 2001. Mr. Gregory Schmidt, Secretary of the Senate. Dear Greg, the purpose of this letter is to express the legislative intent on enacting my SB 274, which makes amendments to the Penal Code Section 653K. Section 653K makes a misdemeanor to make, sell, or possess upon one person a switchblade in California. The statute was enacted in 1957 and provides a length definition of a switchblade knife. In 1996, AB 3314 CH 1054, an exemption was created for one-handed folding knives. Recently, there has been concern that the language of this exemption is broadly read to apply to knives that are essentially switchblades but are designed to fall under the language of the exemption. In order to ensure that only legitimate one-handed opening knives are covered, SB 274 narrows the language to only allow knives to fall under that exemption from the switchblade law if that one-handed opening knives contain a detent or similar mechanism. Such mechanisms ensure there is a measure of resistance, no matter how slight, that prevents the knife from being easily opened with a flick of the wrist. Moreover, a detent or other mechanism is prudent and the matter of public safety as it will ensure that the blade will not inadvertently come open. Although some one-handed opening knives can be opened with a strong flick of the wrist so long as the contact and detent or similar mechanism that provides some resistance to the opening of the knife, then the exemption is triggered. These knives serve an important utility to many knife users as well as firemen, EMT personnel, hunters, fishermen, and others utilizing one-handed opening knives. This exemption, created in 1996, was designed to decriminalize the legitimate use of these extremely functional tools by law-abiding citizens. SB 274 is not intended to interfere with those knife owners and users. The amendment to section 653 accomplish this important purpose by establishing more objective criteria by determining whether a knife meets the intended exemption to the switchblade law. Sincerely, Betty Carnett, Senator, 27th District. Who is Senator Betty Carnett? After working for 30 years as a public school teacher, Betty Carnett served one term in the State Assembly and then went to be elected to the State Senate in 1996. She's a member of the Board of Directors of the Long Beach Memorial Hospital Children's Clinic and also an associate board member of the Sage House in San Pedro, which operates adult daycare programs. 
Senator Carnett completed her master's degree in California State University, Long Beach, while working full time. So it took a school teacher to figure out that spring assisted knives are useful tools in the U.S.